But like all tourists, they were capable of behaving pretty badly. And that included leaving their mark on ancient monuments. Wow. Look at that. Lots and lots of graffiti. A couple of bits there from the early 19th century. It's pretty young, that. Pretty recent. Because the rest of it is all from ancient Greece and Rome. These two huge statues still stand guard near the entrance to the Valley of the Kings. Following an earthquake long before Hadrian's time, one of them became a must-see of any ancient tour of the Nile, named the Singing Statue of Memnon. At dawn, its cracked stones warmed up and it would apparently make a grumbling, speaking noise, or a sound like that of a harp string breaking. Julia Balbilla was a poet, she was travelling in Hadrian's entourage, and she apparently wrote some lines on the statue to mark the occasion of the imperial visit. They should be here on the left leg. It's fantastic. There's reams of the stuff. Incredibly neat. I can't believe I'm looking at a three and a half thousand year old object that someone graffitied 2,000 years ago. It's just incredible. Where is it? Look for some key words. Julius Babilus Ote Ecuse Ton Memnos E Sevastos Adrianos So is that Adrian there? Oh, this is definitely it here. Look, there's Hadrianos there. Hey, this is it. Right, this is it. Amazing. So this was written to mark the actual occasion of Hadrian's visit. And it says there's the Lord Hadrian, smiling, greeted Memnon in return and has left behind him, engraven for posterity, a witness to show what he saw and heard, thus making it manifest to all men that he, Hadrian, is beloved of the gods. Just what Hadrian saw or how much he heard, we can never know because sadly, his inscription has now been lost. But perhaps given the circumstance of his visit, we can imagine how he felt. This should have been such a joyful time for Hadrian, the lover of architecture, religion and history. But it wasn't. He was torn apart by grief. Despite all his offerings, despite being talked to by Memnon, the gods appeared to have abandoned him. Just days before, his young lover, his constant companion, Antinous, had died, drowned in the Nile. <laughs> 